Nation, it's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news! Holy, it's been a minute, eh? <laughs> So much news. Did an NBA 2K modder figure out how to make NBA 2K22 instantly more attractive all by himself in two weeks? Yes. Did Power DF's career on YouTube nosedive as a result of self-sabotage? Yes. Some drama with the 250K tournament and some new developments, man. It's packed today. Look, man, we got a lot of news and drama and things of that nature to cover, man. So if y'all new, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. But let's get right into the news. So the 2K modding community has kind of like done this. From 2K14 to 2K16, it was actually pretty active. Ever since then, yeah, some modders have existed, but none quite like what we're starting to see right now. This is LeBron James in, in a map that a, a one person was able to create. This is NBA 2K. Don't you just want to play on this? Because it looks good. This is what we've been asking for for so long. And it, all it took was one person a few months to be able to do it. So when a billion dollar company can't figure out how to fuck to do something like this, it get a little frustrating because one person figured it out 2k give this guy a job his name is db's 2k mod and his bio has his youtube channel where he does more of this stuff it's just visual and graphic mods i know there's a, there's a few people in the community who do things like this but i've never seen something as luxuriously beautiful as this right here so it took him a few months to do let's give him his flowers man because i think we could all look at something like this and immediately think yeah i'd love to play him for the next story of the day there's a program called the NBA 2K Next Makers, and it's a collective of people that are in a Discord call, or, or just maybe a Slack call, for all I know. But they communicate pretty closely with the 2K developers. 2K relies on them for feedback about the game and things of that nature. Me, personally, I'm not a part of it. Never been asked to. But they had, like, public applications, so plenty of people that were part of the 2K community. 2K said over 5,000 people requested to be part of this program. The reason I'm talking about it is because, for some reason, nobody really knows it exists, but 2K is not, like, high it this is like public information now ja tweeted saying what do next makers do exactly like what is their job at 2k besides having the title of next maker which i think is a great question Corey, who works for 2k says it's not a job it's a creator network that brings together creators we want to work closely with and chat with regularly he responded they don't make a game give feedback get access to some info before public at times content opportunities work with us on crafting content if you guys remember there were some screenshots there was some like gameplay screenshots like a month before 2k22's release and the people who were part of this program had access to it. So because I'm not in this program, I, part of me feels some type of way because it's like other people have an advantage as a result of signing and being a part of this program. But my take has always been, I never want to do nothing, especially on this channel where I feel like it would limit my ability to freely talk on something. If 2K is giving me things like the game early or content early with no expectation, then I, for sure, like sign me up. Listen, I want to be a part of it. But if there's an expectation that I'm going to speak positively only about something or I'm gonna skew my takes one way because I was given something I'm not doing it that's always been my take personally but uh, I thought this was interesting they've, they've been more public about it in recent years and I even know some people who are part of the program not bad people at all and uh, for, for what it's worth I think that this might actually make the game better so long as like the people that are part of the program are actually giving good feedback for the next story of the day, expired YouTuber and my roommate, I'm Davis, put out this tweet saying, Fuck it, I'm Davis is coming back this week. I'm calling Cap. If you guys don't know, man, Davis, one of the most prolific Hall of Fame-like characters in the NBA 2K community. He was never the best player. I'd argue he was a poor player. But he made great content and has consistently won, like, community awards for being the most creative. So he's creative, that's for sure. Uh, he, he stopped uploading, like, four or five months back. I ask him about it every day I see him at the crib. But he's saying here that he might make his comeback. So let's be on the lookout for that. For the next story of the day, it's not 2K related, but it is 2K related because I didn't notice information. Information. Ronnie put out a tweet saying, Happy WWE 2K22 launch week. Congrats to my coworkers at 2K and Visual Concepts on this amazing release after months of work who's playing it already through early access. So WWE just came out. The part that I found interesting was that Visual Concepts is working on it. That's the same dev, this exact same dev team that works on NBA 2K. I know they have different factions, kind of like how Ubisoft has like Ubisoft Toronto and Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft, uh, 
Ubisoft in different cities. But the reason I'm bringing this up is when like they dropped their earning reports and they're like, look, man, Visual Concepts hired so many people. They didn't hire them for like 2K, right? They're not adding people to a product that already exists as much as they are adding people to another product in the same realm. So um, who's, I'm not mad at it, you feel me? THQ went under and wrestling games were gonna be a thing of the past and 2K decided to buy the IP and they're dropping games. So whether or not you love the fact that 2K bought it or they ruined your favorite franchise, franchise probably wouldn't exist without 2K. For our next story of the day, this one isn't as popularly known, but some people might be in the know. There's this fascinating situation. I thought it was a fantastic story. Like it needs a documentary almost. There's this guy who's pretty relevant in the NBA 2K My Team community. And of course, 2K has the yearly 250K My Team tournament. This guy made it to the finals on multiple generations. Impressive enough. The only problem is he got his account hacked right before his games. Ty Debo says, if anyone has any connections or anyone that works with Xbox, please message me. And the community did, man. It was a lot of people adding Xbox support, just trying to get help for him. Shake and Bake, prominent My Team YouTuber says, this is absurd. People are legit messing with your life here, bro. Way not cool. <laughs> Way not cool is crazy. DBG says, Ty has the literal best team in the game. There is no account in the world that's better than his. He'll already be playing at a disadvantage. And people were laying it on. There was plenty of people in the community highly upset that 2K couldn't help accommodate this person because this was no fault of his own. Right when you thought all hope was lost though, the tides have turned. Ty Devo puts out this tweet here of the Undertaker popping out of his coffin and his Twitch link, almost as if to let us know that he is somehow ready to play. And then the story goes full circle because he tweets, I came back from the dead to win the Xbox side of the 250K and secure 50,000 in NBA 2K22, my team. So that's a feel good story, right? Amidst all the drama. For the next story of the day. All right, well, let's talk about this power stuff. People came in my stream, told me, Agent, you gotta talk about 2K clan drama. I said, I'm not doing it. Agent Beamstar, I meant to say, not Agent, of course, because that's that'd be somebody else. Okay, besides the point. But this has kind of developed into like a very weird situation. So it began with Luck posting this tweet saying the truth about DF F is over. Unfortunately, everything you guys have seen and heard today, I promise you. So take a quick listen, all right? Don't make me end you. I have so much stuff under my sleeve that I don't do because I'm really nice. But you know what I'm saying? I, I, could, I could make so much trouble. You know what I mean? Like, I can initiate so many chargebacks. It would be a shame if your PayPal was like very in the negative or you know what i'm saying like you just got completely embarrassed i don't know we don't want to get in that because we were friends but i'm just saying if you don't cooperate if you don't be my friend then it's like you need to edit but you need to become slowly less and less available and then eventually so less available where he decides to hit somebody else up on his own. These are things he's saying about what everyone assumed was his best friend and fellow clan member, Grinding DF. So when Grinding's channel is performing fantastic, Power is feeling some sort of competitiveness to the point where he wants the editor that edits for both of them to edit less for Grinding and more for him until Grinding eventually fires him. This could have all been solved with a simple conversation. Power says to Grinding, hey, I don't appreciate you using my editor. I feel like it's pulling, it's, it's, it's taking a toll on my content and my ability to upload my content content quickly. It's a conversation with your editor. Listen, man, if you want to edit for grinding, that's fine, but I'd prefer if you exclusively edited for me. And this could have all been solved, but instead he went around his back and manipulated the situation so that he gets what he wants, but in like the most devious way he could. This set everybody off. This set grinding off to the point where he went on a flurry on Twitter tweeting about the situation and he also dropped the video. So this whole situation started when Luck DF posted a voice tweet that showed a conversation between him and Power DF back in 2K20 where Power was basically just hating on my success. Luck DF was my editor at the time and apparently he edited my videos too good because in Power's words, he's mad that I'm gaining too many subs. And let me ask you a question that you gotta tell the truth to now. Do you think he will pass me before the end of 2K20? Grinding has been doing YouTube for three years. He never ever uploaded consistently until you became his editor. I stayed ahead of him this entire year because I was able to upload more consistently, quicker than he has. Now that you're editing for him, he has the same advantage I do. Bruh, that's that's nuts. That is nuts. I'm, not, I'm sorry, bro. Like, 
from your enemy, this is expected. But from your mans, this is nuts. So Grinding was highly upset. He ended up leaving the clan and so did a lot of other people. Double H posted a few tweets talking about the manipulation he experienced. He ended up leaving. Uh, Troy Dan was calling for the only person he knew can cover the story properly. <laughs> Me, Agent Peemstar. <laughs> Thank you, Troy Dan. Drop a like. <laughs> Glidey, also a member of the clan, tweeted out, Since everything is out, before I got recruited to DF, I wasn't allowed to get 2K22 early for any DF member. I wouldn't have ever joined DF if they got a copy early. I think Glidey's in Australia or New Zealand, so he gets these copies ahead of everybody else. I'm smiling, but it's because this is crazy coming from your mans. All of this is easily solvable with simple conversations, but I think the fact that you can't allow it with Within yourself to see your mans do well without you feeling like you have to do better that really speaks on your own insecurities if any one of the guys in this crib it could be duke davis they perform fantastic bro i'm not only ecstatic for them they're showing me what's possible and it's making me want to grind too so everybody wins how you can't see it like that makes you a l friend to the fullest extent that's just what it is never seen the community this active in some time now everybody was getting involved los polos on twitter replied saying hey i don't know who you are but you're weird as fuck bruh duke responded they want to see you do good but not better than them and that's a fact so power was admitting fault but he was also painting the narrative as though everybody was dragging it like they were going too far and it, he's not as bad as people are making it out to seem he even tweeted fuck it 10k retweets and in 24 hours a face reveal might as well he replied to someone in the comments he said i'm sorry i said sorry i'm gonna move forward and be a better person i'm not sure what else i can do and if it stopped there you know you might consider him an l mans i think you should but he's not like a evil human right he ain't killed nobody but then things got immediately more weird because some more screenshots came out of him doing like role play with some people in his clan or some people that grinded for his account should i say all right now brace yourself these are weird texts there's a guy named ollie that tweeted bye bro with some screenshots here did i say i wasn't going i just don't want to speak to a American who's hypocritical and dumb. Power responds, okay, that's it. Your whole PayPal is getting claimed. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but I don't have the patience for this. He says, I'm sorry for saying that. I really tried being nice and you want to disrespect me? You've let this get to your head a little too much. There will be consequences this time. After I'm done with you, you're going to be my bitch. Trust me. And it actually, I know you wouldn't think it, but it gets significantly weirder because this is what follows. So the other guy responds, you're trolling me. Why are you trolling? Power says, just wanted to prove I can still make you my bitch anytime. LMFAO, now bow down to your master for your reward. I'm bowing, master. And whose bitch are you? Say it. I'm Power's bitch. Who's Power DFs? There. So you know what I'm waiting for? What's that? I'm waiting for you to be my bitch again like the good old days. I am. See, you're not because you had to take the pledge. I also haven't. Bro, this sound like a cult. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It, it, oh, fuck. And by the end of it, he, there he is again admitting that he is indeed Power's bitch. This is just weird, kinky role play. And the guy who tweeted this, bro, you not any better, dog. What the fuck are you trying to expose somebody? You expose yourself as much as you expose his dumb ass. What the fuck is happening in these clans, man? That, sh that is crazy shit to read. You would think that was a fake screenshot. His videos of me crying over Instagram. Jesus, bro. Jeez, fuck. This is getting worse. As if things couldn't get worse, a few more allegations came out that Power admitted to on a Twitter story, or what would they call them? Twitter, a Twitter space. Power admitted to doxing people and sending their address, like almost to intimidate them to do the things he wanted. And then so he also offered to pay 10,000 for a person that was gonna leave his clan to not leave his clan. So Davo tweeted, Power is acting like a sugar daddy, 10,000. That nigga is tricking, LMFA. <laughs> Power decided to hold a Twitter space and uh, people kind of just dogged him the whole time. I mean, it was it was like five people just like beating down on him, getting him to admit to shit. And he felt like it, it sounded as though he was down and out. Like, Loki was a pretty depressing conversation. I had my ear in there, you know what I'm saying? Just listening in, see if anything was going to be said. It was a very depressing conversation to be a part of. But after all of those festivities, Power deactivated. Badge plug tweets, Power either deactivated or was banned right after. And then also that Power deleted his channel. Damn, so you... YouTube deactivated, Twitter deactivated. I'm sure he could reactivate them whenever he wants to, but for now, he's going ghost. Nade, a longtime enemy, he decided to tweet. 
Funny thing is, a bunch of DF dudes knew how power hungry he really was and kept it a secret since they had so much clout together. He said, man, I saw this seven years ago from the sound of his voice. I knew he was a fucking dolphin. Man, what a fucking situation. People aren't making this out to like be power is like this horrible, evil, dog shit human being. I don't think that's the case. Power is a bad friend, a definitely an L man's and, and probably a person you wouldn't want to align yourself with because he'll see you as competition. He has some weird kinks that he called jokes, uh, calling you master and stuff like that is odd. He's probably not the greatest person to be around based on the information we've seen today, but he's not a horrible human being like the way people are making it seem. There are people who've killed human beings, who've committed crimes that have ruined people's lives. So let's put this in context. On top of that, there are people who knew this stuff for years, held on to it as ammunition until they felt as though they had nothing left to gain from the situation and then revealed it. Those people also are weird. Let's not pretend like the weird just stopped with power. Man, there's plenty of weird to go around all in and around the DF circle from what we're seeing these last few days. Bro, if there was something like dramatically wrong in a living situation or in some, some sort of group I'm in, but there's no way I'm holding that information until it's convenient for me to release it. They, man, I don't give a fuck what way you try and justify that. That's weird too. Man, every, every part of this is weird. Everybody's claiming to be a victim and it's just like, man. Look, at the end of the day, align yourself with people who have your best interests in mind and your life will be a lot smoother and a lot less dramatic as a result. Man, that's me. That's, that's how I feel about the situation. So this is probably the most news and drama the 2K community has seen in quite some time. I want to know how y'all feel about it in the comment section down below. Look, man, it's been Agent Beamstar, you feel me? If you want to see how long it's been since the last time I've done one of these episodes, click on this video right here. But otherwise, check out my Twitch. Link in the description. Oh, I mean, check out Agent Zero's Twitch. Fuck, I almost blew my cover. Peace.